Cloud gaming, a subject you guys know I have been extremely vocal about over the past year or so, and even more recently, I had a chance to go to CES at the invite of NVIDIA, and I got to check out their cloud gaming solution, GeForce Now. Now, since that time, um, I put out a few videos here on the channel. I've talked about it on Gamertag Radio, and I had a chance to test it out on the NVIDIA Shield. I've had a chance to test it out on the Windows desktop. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's been pretty good. I've been pretty impressed with the technology with GeForce Now. But a new announcement from NVIDIA, I have had the great pleasure of testing out GeForce Now using a Chromebook, and more specifically, this is a Pixelbook Go. So I want to thank NVIDIA for this opportunity. They did provide this Chromebook to me, and I've been testing GeForce Now on that service the past week or so. So now, this is a little different. This is actually going through the Chrome browser. You can go to play.geforcenow.com, and via that, you're able to spin up GeForce Now and you're able to play all the games that you own on your Steam library, on your Epic Games library, Uplay library, etc. And like I've said in the past, service works great. But this time I'm actually doing it on a Chromebook via a wireless connection. And was there a difference? Not really. It was pretty much working the same as I've experienced on the Windows desktop and on the NVIDIA Shield. I would say the one difference I've seen is it tends to take about a minute or two to get going. I always notice I have a spotty connection when I first fire it up. And, you know, here I've been testing it in my home. I have a gigabit connection. Um, I'm doing it over over five gigahertz wireless. I mean, it's it's a solid connection. So I know that hasn't been the issue. And when I talked to NVIDIA, because uh, we had a, a kind of a, a media briefing about this as well, um, I brought this up to one of the engineers and he did mention, hey, you know, might take a minute or two to get going. And obviously this is something new that they're rolling out. So, you know, your mileage may vary. So depending on your Internet connection, your wireless connection in your home, you may see some some differing things when you play. But I'll say after a minute or two, gameplay's been pretty solid. So what I'm going to do in just a second is I'm going to actually show you a video clip pulled out the camera, opened up the Chromebook, and I'm playing Destiny 2, and you can kind of get an idea of how it works. And this is the PC version of Destiny 2 via Steam, and um, it's pretty good. Like I said, I've been playing it the past few days, no real issues at all playing it on there, able to play it at 1080p, solid 60 frames per second, and a solid experience. Again, I've talked about GeForce Now in the past. I think it's a fantastic service. I am on the Founders Edition, the quote-unquote paid edition, so it wasn't the free tier. And it worked pretty well, no issues at all. Now, along with the media briefing that I had with NVIDIA earlier this week, they also had a couple other announcements, which I think you guys will really like. They did mention a game, Cyberpunk 2077, which you know is near and dear to my heart, will have RTX enabled on it, and it will have DLSS 2.0 they are guaranteeing that those features will be available in GeForce Now on titles that, that support it. Another thing that they talked about, which is coming to GeForce Now, is you're going to now start to have highlights. You're going to have automatic game captures while you're playing. So you're going to be able to share this with your friends, show off some of your best moves, etc. So that's another cool feature. And another great one that's coming, Ansel Support is coming to GeForce Now very soon. So get excited about that. Again, cloud gaming. It's not something that's going to take over your primary way to play. I've, I've said this a million times, but it is a great supplement to the way that you play. And like I said, I have this Chromebook now. Being able to play this on the Chromebook and to launch GeForce Now via the browser is a huge move for the service. Now, this only works on the Chromebook as far as using the Chrome browser right now. That's all they're supporting. That's one thing about NVIDIA I've really liked is the fact that, you know, they will beta test their things forever. So the, even though this is coming out to the masses, anybody with a Chromebook right now can go to play.geforcenow.com and fire up GeForce Now and play your games on there. It's only going to be on the Chromebook. I would assume because they did not confirm this, that eventually we will see Chrome browser support you know, come to Windows, come to Mac, Linux, etc. But, you know, we'll, we'll see as they test out the service. But let me be quiet. What I'm going to do now is shift this over to my Destiny 2 gameplay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking in the background. So even when you hear me talking a little bit, it's not the best audio quality, but it's more about the experience of actually watching me play on um, 
on the actual Chromebook. I'm using a Xbox One controller connected via Bluetooth. And like I said, the experience was pretty good. So check out the video and we'll be right back. All right, so we're looking at the Pixelbook Go. This is the Chromebook that was provided to me by NVIDIA. And you're looking at GeForce Now. This is inside the Chrome browser. I went to play.geforcenow.com and you're looking at Destiny 2. So we're gonna go ahead and play Destiny 2. Here is my Xbox One controller connected via Bluetooth. And uh, let's hit play. Let's go ahead and get this started. Right, it says we're ready, continue gaming full screen. Okay on that, and here we go. All right, and as you can see, Destiny 2 is firing up here. So let's go ahead and check it out. One thing I've noticed as I've been testing this, I typically get a spotty connection when I first start it up. It takes about a minute or two to actually clear up. So it may be slightly laggy just to start, but then it usually clears up and is fine during the gameplay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into Destiny 2 and I think I'll play a mission really quick just to kind of show you how that works. Again, Xbox One controller, let's go ahead and do it. And let's actually do a mission that I need to do. And it is a story mission. Again, this is all going through GeForce Now. This is via the browser. And I want to go to the settings really quick. So you can see where we're at on that. Let's go to video. And actually, it's at 720p, so let's change that to 1080p. Suddenly, in influence over the cradle grows. We take the tree of silver wings.
the deep is boundless but suffocating. There is a so that was my gameplay on Destiny 2. Um, slightly edited some of it just a little bit to kind of get through some of the load screens and stuff just to not bore you again. You know, I've, I've shown previous videos of me launching GeForce Now. And as you can see, even via the Chrome browser, it's still the same experience. Once you're into the game, you, you kind of saw the spotty connection at first, but it pretty much went away after about 30, 30 seconds to a minute. And it was pretty smooth gameplay the entire time. There was no noticeable lag while I was playing and, and it was a great experience. So again, GeForce Now is expanding. Now <laughs> you can go on a Chromebook through the Chrome browser, play.geforcenow.com and you can play your games via cloud gaming. It's a fantastic experience. Again, even when um, I previewed Cyberpunk 2077 uh, a couple months ago, that was via GeForce Now as well. So I'm a big believer in cloud gaming. I mean, this is obviously GeForce Now. There's the other competitors out there as well. But I am a believer in the technology of cloud gaming. It does work. Will I recommend this replace the primary way that you play games? Absolutely not. I will not do that now. Still, the primary way that you're going to play games is going to be via your dedicated hardware. But as a supplement to that, via this Chromebook, via an Android phone, via, <clears throat> excuse me, your Windows desktop on an app via the NVIDIA Shield, it is an option. Obviously, the mobile options as well allow you to play games that you own via your PC library, digital libraries on the go. It's a fantastic service. So I'm loving the approach that NVIDIA is doing this. They are taking it slow. They're taking their time. But even right now today, you can get a solid 1080p experience at 60 frames per second. Games that support RTX and DLSS 2.0 will be a part of GeForce now and it's going to be awesome and guys you you know I love Cyberpunk so in November when Cyberpunk drops of course the main way I'm going to play it is going to be via my desktop PC but when I'm in a pinch I, I keep picking it up but I can grab this Chromebook I can grab an Android phone on the go I can go out in my living room via the Nvidia Shield play it that way as well so this is an excellent supplement to the primary way that we play games so again, I want to thank NVIDIA for the opportunity to test out GeForce Now on the Chromebook. And again, to everyone, go check it out for yourself. If you have a Chromebook, fire it up, bring up the Chrome browser, go to play.geforcenow.com and try it out for yourself. So again, this is Paris. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like, share, tell your auntie, your mama, everyone about this video. Tell them about GeForce Now. I think it is an awesome cloud gaming service. And I'll see you soon.